Hello, welcome to Worship Guitar 101, and today we'll be looking at alternate picking. And this is the first time I really looked at picking in this, and it's quite an important thing. So obviously, when you look at most guitarists, you you see like they move the pick in a certain motion. Now imagine if you've been strumming for a while, you know, you know, you go downwards, and you go upwards, kind of get that. Obviously, you can do that in many different ways. You can go down, down, up, 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 down. You know, loads of different things. You go like that kind of thing. Now, what alternate picking is? Basically, when I pick notes, I don't just go down all the time. I don't just go like because that isn't the most efficient way of you know movement. A lot of lead guitarists do with efficiency and movements, and kind of like the way you would approach like a sportsman does where they don't waste needless energy, you want to get the most out of, you know, every movement you use. So basically what I'm doing is, I'm, when I play a note, I go down, then the next note I'll do up picking, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And as you can see, this kind of movement where I'm going like that, creates more efficiency. It also means I can do it faster. So, for example, the faster you go with all the down picking is like... The faster I can do it with going alternate picking is... You get that more efficient fluency. Now, there's a part of alternate picking, what's called tremolo picking. And this can be quite good with some delay, or, you know, it's not that often used in worship music, but, you know... But you have to remember with music in general is you can use techniques in a variety of different circumstances. So, what tremolo picking is, is doing that down, up, down, up motion we're doing it very fast. So instead of just going like... We're we'll doing it as fast as possible. So, so, so you want to build these feet slowly, so you want to go... Then go faster. And so you can get that kind of thing. Now, if we combine this with some of the other techniques we looked at, you can get quite an interesting thing. So we'll stick with the E minor pentatonic scale. And then I'll go like this, so... quite an interesting thing and you, you can use it in a variety of different circumstances. For example, if you want, you're playing a worship riff and you want, you know, a chorus to really stand out, you just want some extra power in those notes instead of just going like... You kind of just tremolo pick it and it creates like a really fast rapid sound. So... so it's, you know, you can even use it for rhythm guitar and obviously it sounds quite cool if you do some other stuff like... really stand out among the other guitarists. Anyways, that concludes tremolo picking. In the next lesson we'll look at um, effects, what are a really important part but often overlooked by guitarists. I'll see you then.